I am Lamont at Large. Today we are at the Trice Hill Cemetery here in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. I'm here to visit the grave of Wanda Jean Allen, a woman that was tried and convicted of first degree murder and was sentenced to death and the execution was carried out by the state of Oklahoma. Wanda Jean Allen was executed by the state of Oklahoma on January 11th, 2001 for the 1988 murder of her then living girlfriend, Gloria Jean Leathers. So Gloria and Wanda, they both met in an unusual fashion. On June 29th, 1981, Wanda was in a relationship with another woman by the name of Deidre Pettis. And they got into an argument and Wanda pulls out a gun and shoots and kills Deidre. The detectives take her down to the station and she claims that she had got into a physical altercation with a boyfriend of Deidre's and he pulls out a gun and shoots at Wanda. Wanda from about 30 feet away pulls out her gun and shoots at him accidentally striking Deidre killing her. But of course, uh, the detectives, they look at the autopsy photos, they look at the evidence, and there's bruising up and down Deidre's face and her body, and the coroner's examiner indicated that it appeared that she had been struck with a heavy, blunt instrument, possibly a gun. The detectives, they tell Wanda, they said, listen, we know that you gun-whipped your girlfriend there's powder burns on her face, so you weren't 30 feet away. You were probably more like three or four feet away when you shot and killed her. And they gave her a sweetheart of a deal. They gave her a sweetheart of a deal. They said, you plead guilty to manslaughter, we'll give you five years. And she said, okay, I'll take that. I'll take that all day running. So she pleads guilty to manslaughter and the death of her then girlfriend, Deidre Pettis, and she sentenced to the five years, which she ended up doing, I think roughly about three years of it, uh, in the Oklahoma State Penitentiary. And that is, you know, behind bars, that is where she met her, her soon-to-be girlfriend, Gloria Jean Leathers. So they started a relationship behind bars. So they get out, they move in together, and of course, uh, Wanda's up to her old tricks, and next thing you know, they, they're getting into fights. Um, Wanda Jean is threatening her. Coincidentally enough, uh, Gloria was also in prison for killing her living girlfriend. So basically, we got two murderers basically meeting in prison, getting out, and starting a relationship. So as I can already tell you now, things aren't going to go good from here on out. So they have a very tumultuous relationship, constant fighting, constant arguing. And on December 2nd, 1988, Wanda and Gloria were at a store and they got into a very heated verbal altercation and almost turned physical. And by happenstance, there was an off-duty police officer there doing security at the store. He goes there, he breaks it up. Gloria is crying and screaming, saying that she wants nothing to do with Wanda anymore. She she wants to get her stuff and just and just leave and get out of there. The cop escorts her to the apartment. Gloria, along with her mother's help, gathers up all her things and and packs up her car and moves out of the house. And Wanda's there and she tells Wanda, I'm going to get a restraining order against you. I no longer want anything to do with you. This is over. We're done. So Gloria and her mother drive down to the police station to file a restraining order. Little did they know that Wanda was following them. And when she pulls up to the police station, she gets out of her car and she doesn't see that Wanda was following them. She gets out of her car, pulls out her 38 caliber revolver, points it at Gloria and shoots her one time in the torso, striking her. Then she turns around and she runs. Cops come out of the station. They realize that a woman's been hit. They heard the gunshot, but they didn't actually see the murder. So the mother is screaming and hollering. She's saying, hey, Wanda Jean just shot my daughter. They take Gloria to the 
emergency room where she fights for her life and unfortunately she succumbed to her injuries three days later wanda jean was arrested and she was tried for first degree murder the prosecutor office they're looking at her case file they're seeing that she's already uh served time in prison for a violent felony so now they're going to seek the death penalty and even though the defense argued that wanda jean allen's iq was low uh, borderline retarded is what they claimed um they tried valiantly to save her from the uh, death chamber, but they failed. And uh, she was tried, convicted of first-degree murder, and sentenced to death. And that sentence, of, again, was carried out on January 11th, 2001. So we're going to go walk up over there. She's, she's buried across that cemetery. We're going to go visit her grave really quickly. And here we are coming to the grave of Wanda Jean Allen. It's a very small stone. It's gone but not forgotten. August 17th, 1959 to January 11th, 2001. Forever in our hearts. Payable on death. The state of Oklahoma felt that she was a danger to society and she was given the punishment that was the maximum punishment that was allowed by state law. So as far as I'm concerned, she has paid her debt to society. And um, some people are just born with, with a penchant for taking out their frustrations out on others. So she took two lives and the state of Oklahoma took hers. Uh, there was a documentary made about her going to court and all that. It's, I believe it's called The Execution of Wanda Jean. I will put that video in the description box if you care to check out the video. And with that being said, I'm out of here. I'll catch up with you on the next vlog. Peace out.